to Weems Motor Co. folks. Today we are going to go help a friend in need. Stick around. Alright guys, so here's a story. Last night I'm sitting at the house uh, kind of checking Instagram and talking to all my buddies got tons of people that are coming from out of state down to Sarasota Florida for a motorcycle show that's happening this weekend and I've been so busy with the born free build and uh, working on that trying to stay ahead of schedule trying to get things knocked out and I was invited to come to this show but I really haven't had the time to, to really clean up Hollywood run uh, to bring it down to the show and I knew it was gonna be a whole weekend obligated to uh, To just kind of hanging out and not getting any work done on the born free bike. So I was like I, I Love you guys. I want to see you guys, but I really need to get some stuff caught up on this bike So I decided that I wasn't gonna go until last night. I received a phone call from a complete stranger somebody that I don't even know and uh, I answered the phone and uh, they're like hey uh, wanted to reach out to you my buddy uh, who is from North Carolina came down here to Florida and he was riding his 1969 Triumph around and he lost the fork cap off the top of his forks and I called a local shop in Tampa called the ride factory and they said hey get in touch with Wings Motor Co he might be able to help you out so he calls me up, tells me the story, what's going on with his buddy's bike. And I'm like, by chance, are you guys at Chopper Town Live in Sarasota? He was like, yeah, that's where we come down here to go to the show. And I was like, you know what? I wasn't planning to go to the show, but I'm going to help you out. Because meeting new people is always fun, and especially if those new people are riding vintage Triumphs. How could I say no to not help a buddy out? So I ducked through my stash of parts, found a few caps for his forks, and we are heading down to save the day, meet this guy, check out his bike, but let's also go ahead and take the opportunity to meet all of the other custom bike builders that are at Chopper Town Live. Maybe you guys get a chance to meet some new folks, see some new builds. Some guys built motorcycles just specifically for this show and they're unveiling them and you guys will be the very first people to check them out hear behind the story talk about the motorcycles and just have a really good time riding motorcycles today i'm on the 2005 harvey danielson super glide custom it's like my toyota corolla i know that it'll get me from point a to point b let's get down there as quickly as possible so that we can get this guy on the road with his vintage triumph stick around what's up everybody made it down to sarasota to the sarasota fairgrounds for the chopper town live show of course with me my good buddy jeremiah we're gonna go see some yep. cool motorcycles see if we can fix this triumph for this guy get him back on the road get him riding we're gonna see some cool choppers too i'm sure on the way so i'm sure i'm, I'm kind of hungry too so we probably need to grab some food I, I need to eat yeah let's do that i just got off a cruise i'm full still yeah. <laughs> stick around guys Right here is the builder of this motorcycle, Robert. Robert, yeah. How long you had the bike for? I bought it in 2014. It was in a box from a guy in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, it took me about a year and a half to build it. So uh, it had Brit Tech up in Massachusetts. I do all the piston work, the head work on it. I uh, balance blueprint it. It's all ceramic coated, pistons in the head and everything like that. When I built it, he knew I was in Texas at the time. He said, we really want to make this thing run because it's going to be warm down there. Yeah. So we really put a little bit extra into it as yeah. far as the build goes. It's 20 over, nothing radical. It's just a really, really enjoyable bike. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you uh, 
I'm assuming you probably put a 21 to front sprocket on it, make it have a little bit better legs on the it, highway. It, it does, it yeah. does, and it, and it goes really well, you know, for a four speed, but uh, it, it, it's like riding a Schwinn. It's so much fun that it is. So light, nimble. Oh that's, so much fun. that's the best thing about having triumphs. Yep. Everybody knows me, I'm tried and true triumph guy. Yep. So let's see if we can get this four cap awesome. fixed for you so we can get it on the road. I really again. appreciate you bringing the No, not a problem. I, I mean, we were scrambling. Yes, I hit a bump with it yesterday. I'm like, out of, the, out of the two of them. It's like, ah. Oh. Yeah, I, I've heard that fork oil doesn't taste too no, good. It's no. like like engine oil, it's got a good taste. Yeah. So the fork oil, nah. No, it doesn't work too. All right, let's see if we can get it hooked up, get awesome. it fixed up. Yep. See this? That's my ugly bug right here. That's, that's this. <laughs> and if you guys don't know who this is, this is the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Yogi, right out of here in Florida. Orlando. Orlando. Yeah. But it's that's Florida. Yeah, it's pretty much Florida. I mean, it's, it's considered... Orlando the, is all of Central Florida. It's considered the happiest place on home. <laughs> Unless you're driving on a highway. Exactly. You get stuck over there. It sucks. It's bad. <laughs> So Yogi brought out a new bike, built it just for the show today. Yep. Amazing, amazing motorcycle. First of all, where can they find you on Instagram? Yogi's Garage. Yogi's Garage, super easy. Does hot rods. Hot rods. Motorcycles, skateboards. You know, cool stuff. Like like builds trophies for like these super amazing shows. Yep. Does all account cool stuff. But today you brought a really awesome bike. So talk to us about it. What's the bike, man? All right, so it's an 88 um, Evo, started life as like an FLH. Somebody built it out in California and it got found in Tennessee. My brother bought it for 1500 bucks, traded it to a friend down here, got it down to Orlando. And then from there, that dude hit me up and he's like, hey, um, go and buy this car off of Facebook Marketplace and I'll trade you. It was a clapped out four door 62 Impala. Turns out my buddy was selling the car, so I got it for twelve hundred bucks. Ah, did the trade. Did the trade. Did the trade. You tried I, it up. I, yeah, hard. Yeah, real dude. hard. That's awesome. And then man. I traded some other parts and you know put it all together. My brother milk bun. Yeah, he painted a bike. Yeah. He knocked. Well, he knocked out the tank for me in like two weeks. Dude, and it's amazing. Yeah, guys. it's wacky. It's like, crazy. Well, that's one thing. Like he just did Eric from F and A's bike. Yep. And holy crap. My Every boy. everything that he does paint wise, he's a wizard, like, dude. He's, I, he's I, a I thought scientist. It, I was like, he's gonna do some paint work for me, but like, it's got to be the right project. Like to put his signature on there, it's got to be like. So, so all, all I did was tell him I wanted like a ribbon style paint job, and then the rest is up to him. That's yeah. totally his design. Oh, came dude. out of his mind. Love it. It's Love crazy. it. Love it. Killer it's stuff. So said eighty eight. Yep, FLA. Yep, FLA. Five-speed cool. transmission. Very cool. Super killer bike, man. Love it. Love that you built it to bring it out here. Appreciate it. Yogi, you keep up the good stuff. Go check him out on Instagram. Check out his stuff. Buy the really cool T-shirts. You don't want any of my stuff. Uh, wait, it's here. only lame. Let, let's show him the back of it. Here you go. That's the hot rods. Now, uh, here, here, figure this out. Scratch my back. I'll scratch yours. <laughs> got some killer merch check them out check out follow us stuff on instagram all of that stuff stick around guys we got more to come
What's up, bro? He's checking his phone. He's doing his, oh. She's naked, man. <laughs> Put that thing away. So what kind of bike, man? Talk to, talk to us about the bike you've done. First of all, what's your name? Instagram, where people follow you, what's up? Yeah, so uh, Chris Wilson uh, out of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, my Instagram is praise the low road RD. Like, oh, that's how you. I thought it was lowered. Yeah, it is. But okay, it's lowered. Okay. It's low road motor company, but it's a little play off of work there because every I'm an LA cholo. I like everything lowered. I, I was I just figured all of that out. <laughs> you connected all the dots. Yeah, ones. yeah. Killer shovel head. Thank you. Man. I, and I know you guys have seen it like in other shows, other events. But we haven't had a chance to talk as yeah. far as on camera about the bike. So, a soft tail shovel head. Yeah. What year and, and like why why did you go soft tail? Because everybody else hard tail. Um, the short answer is because hard tails are the easy button. Exactly. <laughs> you can make a hard tail look good easily. Yeah, easy. So this is like stance and gaps and all the things are so much easier in a hard tail. Um, I'm not gonna lie, uh, Jeff Cochran for uh, uh, speaking. Uh, he he built uh, some really cool swing arm shovels, and uh, I was like, man, like that's the first time I really liked a chopper, bobber, or whatever. Yeah. Um, that was a swing arm bike, and that, and I was like, man, I got to do that. I, I I never really thought about it. I was always hardtails, hardtails, and I wanted to do it. Um, and and even better in my in, in some ways, in my opinion. Um, because our tails, they're cool, they're rad, I love them, I'm building one now, but yeah. I wanted to do one. It's a good one, right? To, to do it and do it well, I think you've nailed it. Uh, first time I seen the bike, I noticed, like, not so much bling. Like, a lot of yeah. guys, we, we build show bikes and they're full polished cases. But what you've done with this bike, keeping like the motor subdued, like that. What what finish is that? Uh, I mean the, the cases are painted and it's bead blasted, uh, rock and rock cover. Just straight bead blasting. Yeah. Which is very similar to like vapor honing, just a different process. Yeah. But it really allows the motor to accentuate everything that else is going on on that bike. It's so cool. I love it. I love the magneto setup. I think you've nailed it. What year is it? It's an 8, 1980 FLH. 1980. Not a, a whole lot of cool things that came out of the 80s, but <laughs> you did a cool bike. I appreciate it. You yeah. Made it awesome. So yeah. What's, what's your favorite thing you like about it? Uh, God, I don't know. I will tell you, I don't. Now somebody's done it, of course, and their bike's more famous than mine. But I was really struggling with the taillight setup. Okay. Um, I don't like exposed wiring. I'm. I'm, I'm since I was like, very young, I've never like been able to see any wiring. I like to tuck everything, even in my fairly stock 2003 Sports, you can't see a single wire on it. Um, and I don't like uh, asymmetrical things. So for me to figure out how to have no wiring and have a symmetrical tail light was a real struggle. Um, so when we figured out to put it under the fender, it was really cool. And I, it, 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 uh, it made me really happy. That's something that I think is really cool and, um, is and that different. A, is that a prism? Uh, no, it's after hours choppers. After hours. Yeah, I, I, uh, it's his tip mouse light. We had to, I put it back on the lathe and took off the flaring and I flattened it out and did all. I, I ruined it. But uh, no. <laughs> but yeah, so we stuck it under there. I like that a lot. And um, for me, it's just that it, I'm gonna say it's not a single thing. Uh, you touched on it. How it's like kind of subdued. So when I built the bike. I wanted to build a swing arm shovel that was still a swing arm shovel. Yeah. Like I didn't want it overly done, like at the end of the day, it's a factory frame, it's factory cases, it's still a shovel head. So it's I got, didn't want to go... It's got the right geometry so you can get on and ride the freaking thing and it really enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, and I didn't, that, that's why I didn't want to go overboard with the, the bling like you said and all those things because I wanted to still have like the, the soul of a, of a shovel. Dude, you've nailed it, man. I appreciate it. Definitely killer bike. Every time I come, I gotta check it out. I always see something new, something different on it. I so appreciate it. Like, means a lot coming from you. Nah, so. you're good, man. You're good. <laughs> For real. Go check him out on Instagram. His link's down below. Chris, thanks again, brother. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you.